Hey fellow YouTubers, um, thanks for uh, subscribing to my channel. I'm hitting a small milestone compared to all you other YouTubers out there. Uh, I'm going to be crossing a hundred subscribers. But I appreciate every single one of you guys. and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. I've been doing it for about a year now. So uh, a year and a half, let's put it that way. Um, lately I haven't put too much time into it because I've been so busy with my regular job. I just got back from Singapore back to back trips that I had in Dubai and I really want to get into my hobby here because I like it so much um, so I have the opportunity to do that I had a nice little surprise um, when I came back from Singapore I had ordered uh, the DJI goggles quite a while ago and they were on my doorstep um, when I came back so um, I'm gonna attempt to show you how I'm gonna use them uh, I have a couple of different ways of doing it. I have purchased the HDMI module on the um, for the RC controller, and I have that option. And I also have um, the USB option, and there's one other option I have, and that's the uh, tablet that has an HDMI out on it. And I'll show you all those. I'll show you the setup and, and, uh, and how everything works. Okay. So uh, let me get to this, and uh, hopefully this comes out all right. Like I said, I'm not a big blogger, um, but it's my special way of uh, celebrating 100 subscribers. <laughs> so um, I do thank you, each and every one of you, for that. Thanks. So the first configuration I'm going to show you is the HDMI cable connected to the goggles. You have to get this adapter right here, but this is a full-size HDMI, and this adapter goes from that full-size HDMI to a mini HDMI. Um, not sure why they don't just go ahead and give that to you, because the modules are, uh, are mini. And then the other side of the cable is HDMI, but it's a micro jack. It's even smaller. It almost looks like one of the uh, USB ports that they have. So you have to be very, very careful. This is uh, HDMI micro. That goes in there. They have a uh, strain relief right here because these goggles, when you wear them on your head, you can flip them up. And you just want to make sure that that wire doesn't get pulled tight on your connector. So the uh, sequence of operations right here are start the controller. Then over here I have the Phantom 4 and uh, it has a camera target of a southwestern type pillow over there, the red, brown, and some southwestern designs on it. So that's next. Then I power up the goggles. And the goggles have the same DJI, DJI type of um, startup procedure. It's a short press and then a long press. And it has some cool noises that go along with the graphics for the initialization. And also for this configuration for this I'm showing you here is the, I'm using the iPad mini. And um, I've already started the app and have it running in the background and you can see see that right there and th this inside for some reason there's always some kind of funny camera feed that goes on and off but it's on right now um, it's also on in the goggles You'll we'll see the, uh, the same view in there. You can see the, the camera. The, these are really, really clear. These are 1080p. That's two displays in there. And they are super, super sharp. The only thing is, is that the focal point of these is very, very close. So if you have to um, use reading glasses for um, reading material that's fairly close by, you need to wear, because there's no focusing on these right here. You can adjust the distance between your eyes. 
um, but they have special cutouts in the um, in the faceplate to accommodate glasses. You can see where they have cutouts here for the um, arms of the glasses to come out, um, and that really makes things very very clear inside of here. So that's my first setup, all right. So I can look at the tablet and I can look at the HDMI at the same time. Somebody could be wearing these and I could be flying the drone from the tablet or I can fly using the tablet and the goggles and let's say I need to look up um, I can raise the goggles up and look at the screen. So that's the number one when you do the HDMI setup though, you're only seeing the camera picture, which is kind of nice. You know, there's no um, telemetry data on the screen. Um, and if you take the HDMI out and you put a USB interface on the back of the module and you plug that into the, block, the, the goggles, this is a USB port here. This is probably how most people are going to use it. Now you get um, you get all the telemetry data that's on the DJI Go app, and it's on the screens right here. Um, but you don't get a picture on the on the tablet. In this case here, you wouldn't even use the tablet. You would do all your flying using the um, the goggles, but that'd be kind of strange if you're flying a little short distance away from you, and if you had to lift the goggles up, you have nothing to reference the, uh, the drone's camera. So this is the setup that I'm going to go with, and I run both of them at the same time. So people ask themselves, well, what if you don't have this HDMI module? You know, this is something that I purchased afterwards and I installed it. Some of the higher end versions of the Magic, uh, of the Phantom 4 Pro, you can get them with a the module on there. Um, that's the one with the built-in screen and all that. But I have this option right here. So this is the, um, the Shield, K1 Shield. And it has a built-in HDMI port, which is really, really nice for an Android tablet and a micro USB. So I'll show you that real quick, what that does in that configuration. So now I'm going to take this out. I can plug that into my Android. Then I'm going to take my HDMI cable and plug that into the Android tablet as well. All right. And then it automatically asks you if you want a console mode or a mirror mode. So I'm just going to choose a mirror mode. You can see it gets right into the um, DJI app. It's probably not coming out too clear. But it is. Maybe that camera view there. I'll go. And you can see the... Um, the the target pillow I have over there for the Phantom Force Pro's camera. And I need to turn the HDMI on here on. So the, I made the connection of the HDMI to this Android tablet that has uh, HDMI out. The shield. You can see in the lens right here that my target on the camera is there. And at the same time, I get the tablet. So, so that solves the problem if you don't have an HDMI module for the, um, for the RC controller. So this would be the solution for some people if they have this tablet already or they're looking for a cheap tablet that's excellent by the way. So I'm going to put together some um, some videos using this setup. 
um, flying the drone. Obviously that's what it's for. So I look forward to that coming up. I hope this was um, informational, instructional for you. If you're looking to figure out how to set this up if you don't have a Mavic or a Spark with an OcuSync and uh, you want to connect this to um, the Inspire or the, um, the Phantom 4 Pro. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. 100 is a good milestone for me. I'll take that. Bye.